Starting during the 2021-2022 school year, Fairfax County instituted a mandate for free breakfast and lunch for all students. With this came a 15 minute break for second chance breakfast. Let's take a look and see what teachers, admin, and students think about this. It's actually a county policy for the 15 minute break this year. and It was actually instituted primarily for middle school students, but since we're a secondary school, we thought it would be best to provide that opportunity to all students, not just our middle school students. Along with the free breakfast and the break, some students have been wondering why we have to take the full breakfast. Why can't we just take the juice or just take the entree? Has this been leading to food waste? Here's some insight. So all students have to take the full breakfast because this is a federal program, I believe again through the FDA, and it is required as part of it for us to get reimbursed for the meals, that they take the entire meal and we have to track how many full meals we hand out. The number is somewhere between 1,000 to 1,500 breakfasts every morning during that wow. second chance breakfast. I feel like there's a lot of food waste um, since they make us take everything because sometimes people only want the juice and sometimes people only want like the snack thing. So I think that there's a lot of waste that adds up. Um, before the free breakfast, I usually only ate something really small for breakfast, like one waffle. It helps me just kind of recuperate um, in the morning so I'm ready for the rest of the day. Sometimes um, the congestion with all the people in the art pod makes it pretty hard to get to my next class, um, especially with all the trash and people moving around. With food in the art pod, it tends to get messy. Most kids, I would say 99% of kids, pick up and clean up after themselves, but there's always that couple, and then it kind of gets ground into the carpet. Uh, usually during the 15 minute break, because I see how hands-on breakfast can be, I usually jump back with the ladies passing out breakfast, because I notice that helps a little bit more. The only better thing that could come up breakfast is if students were just patient. Um, we are trying to do the best in getting kids what they want to eat, and making sure that every kid has access to food, and that also means like, I'm sure you guys don't realize this, that, but the cafeteria workers are getting there at 4.30 in the morning to prepare that food. Just be patient. We are in it for you guys, and make sure you just pick up your trash. This has been Caitlin Halloran, Natalie Gillum, Cameron Tobin, and Dylan Bates with The Morning Brew.